good. How would you, how would you sum up the uh, wide receiver competition? Well, I mean, we, I feel like we all out there competing and uh, doing the things that's asked of us, trying to make big plays and routine plays. And uh, ultimately, it's not up to us. It's up to, you know, the people who make those decisions. So just take it day by day and do what you got to do. We've seen you make a few nice catches for day one, catch for sure. Um, what, how do you kind of feel like your camp is not so uh, I feel like it'd be, it could be better. It's, it's going good, but, you know, uh, it's all about being consistent. That's what I'm proud of myself on. So it can be better every day. What parts, are, uh, what parts do you want to work on in terms of consistency? What's what's bothering you that you don't think consistent enough? Uh, nothing. Just want to keep being consistent as a whole. Um, there's nothing in particular because uh, being a receiver, you have to think on the fly. So. Jalen, do you feel like your, the receiver room has gotten more explosive during the offseason? Uh, of course. You know, we added, uh, we added the, the young guys and stuff like that and you know, they're very good. So I feel like, you know, the more the merrier. How do you feel like that's going to impact the offense? Uh, positivity. Jalen, there was a deep ball on one on ones where it seemed like you kind of went inside the floor, coming back outside and making the catch. What was going through your head on that play, the tracking your ball? Uh, just kind of trying to stack the defender. And, you know, it comes from me catching punts. Like, he's just judging the ball and the wind was blowing. So just trying to judge it. And then when it, at that last minute, you know, that's just a catch I practice every day. So. As a returner, what kind of changes do you anticipate in your overall game when it comes to the kick return from your kicker? You said what kind of changes? Yeah, what kind of changes from your perspective as a returner? Uh, shit, it's just one line of defense now. So, <laughs> shit. hey, that's, I feel like that's bad for the kickoff team. It's bad. But good for you. Great for me. Yeah, yeah, great for me. Oh, yeah, because by that time, I'm going to be up to like, 20 miles an hour already, so <laughs> hey, they miss, it's over. <laughs> How much have you been able to, like, you know, research, watch film, look into these new rules and start maybe coming up with some, some ideas of how you want to approach it? Um, It's not necessarily like just picking on how, like, I'm trying to approach it because it's more of a natural thing for me. So it's like, like I said, it's reactive. So it's like you don't want to go try to anticipate something. It's just trying to, you know, read it clear and uh, let it happen like it did. Um, he got a lot of arm talent. Um, whenever he does like get the get get more opportunities, it's gonna be he's gonna show you guys how great he really is, and uh, it's a reason he went where he went. And I'm happy to have him here. What are the things you see behind the scenes that show why he went? Um, he's a student for sure. He likes to learn. He always, he's always talking to Jacoby, um, learning, and uh, Jacoby's a great vet to learn from. He's always talking to uh, ABP and. Talking to us, of course, to see what you know how we like things and certain routes where he want where we want the ball and stuff like that. So he's he's a student of the game for sure. Jalen, you've done the kickoff returns again. You, you always have to break tackle, right? Throw it back. But in the new rules, is that even a greater priority? So like you could be running through areas where there's, there's a couple of blockers and a couple of defenders. Will maybe a little bit tighter. So uh, Honestly, I feel like my size helps me with that type of stuff. Like, I'm not just like a, a real small guy, so I don't really too much worry about like the contact part of it because I pride myself on not getting touched anyway. So if I can get away from you, I mean, it's pretty much over at that point. What makes a good kicker turn, other than the obvious physical speed? You got to run through the smoke. That's the saying. You got to <laughs> run through the smoke because punt return, you know, you can you got to be real, you know, crafty. But kickoff return, you can't stop your feet. So um, with the new rules, you might got a little leeway, but you got to run through the smoke for sure. It wouldn't cut. He's still over with. <laughs> Did you have somebody that, is there a kick returner that you kind of see yourself in the same moment? Quinn Earl Pappas, you was here. Big guy, physical guy. You know, play the backfield. Man, I, um, so when I was, uh, when my dad played in the Super Bowl in 2007 versus the Bears, when Devin Hester took the open kickoff back, that's like, that's what I always watched, especially when he was at Miami. So, um, I'm not saying I'm, as good as him. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that's his, yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, I like watching him. Oh, Deshaun Jackson. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, 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 Thanks. Thanks.